Hello, this is Patrick at 1CNC West and thank you for taking the time to take a look at this video. What I'd like to do today is talk about how easy it is to copy a tool library from one computer to another computer. Now in this video, we're going to focus on a situation where both computers have 1CNC XR7 mil. Okay? All right, so let's get started. I'm going to start off by taking a look at Mill Professional, and let's pretend that this is on one computer, okay? And this is the tool library that we want to copy. So what I'm going to do is head up here to NC, and let's go into Edit Tool List, and here you can see here's the tool library. If I sort by description, you can see that I've added a couple tools here that have the prefix of Pro. In your case, you may have lots of changes made to your tool library, lots of tools added, maybe you've made some edits. In this example, though, real simple, all I've done is I've just added three tools with the prefix of Pro. So how do we copy this library into the other computer? Well, the first step is we really want to save this tool library to something like a thumb drive or, or somewhere on the network. In this example, I'm going to be saving the tool library to a thumb drive. So let's do that. Let's head down to the lower left-hand corner. Let's select manage library and what we want to do is select this option called save library as when we do that this is the library we want to save so I'm just going to left click that once we do that it populates this area down here that says file name now I can select my thumb drive but it's important make sure you have this selected and loaded up before you go searching for your thumb drive let's open up my computer and let's look for my thumb drive and that's going to be right here Okay, so there's my Lexar thumb drive, and there's the tool library I want to save, so I'm going to click Save on that. All right, now I'm going to click OK. So what that's done now is that has saved the tool library to the thumb drive. Now, let's open up Mill Expert. We're going to pretend that Mill Expert is on a different computer. So here's Mill Expert, and let's say I've taken the thumb drive out of the one computer, walked over to the second computer, plugged the thumb drive in, and now I want to copy that tool library to my mill expert system. So same thing, I go up to NC, edit tool list, and we're going to click on manage library. That looks good. And then what we want to do is we want to go to import library, XML library. And that's because 1CNC XR7 uses the XML format. So we're going to click on that. And then what we want to do is search for our file, our tool library. So again, I'm going to open up my computer. I'm going to go down to my thumb drive. And with the thumb drive selected, there's the tool library. I'm going to left click on that, I'm going to click open. Once we do that, we get this little dialog box that has to do with duplicates. There may be duplicates. So if there's duplicates, this is simply saying, hey, do you want to keep the current duplicates for your current tool library? Or do you want to keep the imported duplicates? Or do you want to keep both? Well, you never probably want to keep both. So what I usually do is just use the default, keep current, click OK on that. And that's it. So if we look over here and sort by description, you can see now that within one CNC mill expert, we have our tool library imported. There's the three tools I had created in my mill professional system. Okay. Hey, hope this video helps out. Thanks so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.